Hey guys, uh, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I love you guys, man. Thank you for everything. Thank you guys for all your support. Today is a, we've been blessed today. <laughs> today we are going to be doing our first site tour. I'm very excited about it. And um, yeah, it's going to be with Zanabis. And you don't know them yet, probably. They are operating under the symbol BVO. Pretty excited. Super excited. And I'm going to be bringing you guys videos all day. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. The first time Rich TV Live has ever been at a licensed LP. So this is a really big breakthrough, you know, from doing videos to actually going into licensed companies with Health Canada. It is a game changer. If you want to work with Rich TV Live, we are becoming a vertically integrated cannabis media consultancy company. We're going to be providing all cannabis vertically integrated services from CBDs to data. If you're a public company or private company, you need data on your cannabis, we can do that for you. You need co-packaging, we can get you co-packaging. So there's more and more partnerships that are being formulated as we speak. This is a big breakthrough for us. It's a very big breakthrough. So I'm pretty excited. Now, a lot of people have been like complaining that the market's been down. A lot of people have been getting hurt from the market going down. I want everyone to really look back at all the stocks. Look at Aurora Cannabis. Look at Canopy Growth. Look at Afria. Look at those three. Look at Tilray, those four. And just look at CWEB, CWEB, those five. And just go back to their charts and look at all of them from the beginning. And ask yourself if they're down. So in reality, all of these stocks, these stocks, all of these stocks are stuck in a situation where they went up on hype, 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 and they were up. So they really were up. It's not just hype. They were up thousands of percent. Okay. Hundreds of percent, thousands of percent in some cases. And then what happened is, the street, Bay Street and Wall Street said, these price to earning ratios are not justified. We got to bring it back. We got to dial it back. And what's happening is these companies' revenues have been growing. The prices have been shrinking. So the price to earning ratios have also been shrinking and becoming more reasonable, more manageable, more justifiable. So in my opinion, what's going to happen is over the next couple, two, three couple months right now, we're going to see situations where we're going to see sneak attacks. Stocks are going to start to explode. Okay. Now is the key to identify the companies that have the most revenue, the most potential revenue, the best management team, the best product, selling and creating and manufacturing, distributing the product for the least amount of money. This is what's going to now determine the success stories from the failures. And there's a lot of companies out there like HIP, Oxley, so HIP, XLY, and Vivo, for example, those three that have tons of money in the bank, have revenue, and their revenue is going to get way bigger, but their stocks have been decimated. So as an investor, what do you do? I think the key right now is we need to sit on the sidelines and be very patient. If you have stock like I do, I'm going to just be waiting. If I see a stock that I'm in explode and I get 10% or more returns, I'll take it. Because right now we're in a very risky, volatile marketplace. When the next bull run comes and things start to explode, that will be the time to really be investing aggressively. Right now is a time to maybe stay in cash or maybe if you're in a position, think about lowering your cost. Maybe buy a little bit more to lower price, lower your cost. If you're down, wait for an explosion. And then when you get to 10% or more profit, take it. That's how I do it. 
that's my strategy. I, Rich TV Live is accumulation nation. We're here to accumulate, okay? That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna accumulate. And then when they're up 10% or more, we're gonna take it. People say, Rich, why don't you short stocks? I've shorted stocks before. The thing I don't like about shorting stocks is that if you short a stock and then the stock goes up on you, the broker will give you a margin call. And if the broker gives you a margin call and it goes up on you over like 20%, 30%, you automatically will lose 30% in your account. You will not have the chance to wait. And this has happened to me before. And then what happens is the next day the stock goes up and then you still lost 30%. I don't like that. The other issue with shorting is that if the stock runs against me, I can't just chill. See, like if I buy a stock and it goes down, I can just chill. I can wait. I can wait three months, six months, a year if I choose. And eventually, if the company keeps growing and starts showing better revenues, guess what it's going to do? It's going to go up. And once you get to a point where you're in the green and you're 10% or more profit, you should always have your finger ready on the trigger, ready to exit that trade. Take the money and run. This is what I've been saying for two years. So it's kind of funny and comical when people are like, oh man, Aurora's down. I'm like, man, check the statistics. I was talking about Aurora when it was at $1.95 in Canada. It's true. Take a look at the videos. 2017. Now Aurora's at $7 and everybody's like, oh my God, Aurora's killing me. You were wrong. Like I was wrong? I was like, I was talking about Aurora when it was at two bucks. It went to 16. How was I wrong? I sold at 13. I told everybody I did. And it's at seven. So I think I was right. <laughs> so I think, and I've told people like, oh, is Aurora a buy? Yeah, I think anything under $8 is a buy for me. Am I buying it right now? No, because it could go lower. It has a lot of stock. And when you have a lot of shares out there, you always have selling pressure. People are going to panic and they're going to sell. Might go down to five bucks. People say, why are you going to say it's going to go to five bucks if you say it's one of your number one picks? And they're like, well, it is the one of the largest, it is the largest cannabis company in the world in 21 countries. They're going to be generating billions in revenue. Add it all up. It's a big monster company. So yeah, they're going to go up, but they're going to go down too. It's a very vol volatile marketplace. That's what the industry does. It goes up and down. So that's what makes it so fascinating that's what makes it so intriguing you can make money up you can make money down you can short these stocks you can short any stock over three dollars on the senior exchange right in your brokerage account right in your trading account with td bank cibc bank of america you can uh, you can yeah you can short any stock over three dollars and the way you do it is you go and you sell it first so let's say you want to short aurora you go and you sell it first at 760 wherever it's at and then you buy it back at $5. If you think it's gonna to go to five bucks, that's your short. But what happens if it goes to 10? Oh yeah, you get a margin call. You lose 30%. Yeah, so that's what I mean, you know what I mean? You really wanna do that, be careful. What happens if it goes to 20 bucks? Oh yeah, now you're screwed. So this is what I mean, this is why I don't like to short. People are like, oh, why don't you short? Things are going down, why don't you short? I'm like, ah, what happens when they turn around? If I'm longing a stock, it goes down, I can just wait. I can buy more, lower my cost, wait for an explosion, get out. There's a lot of different trading strategies that you can utilize if you're down. But when you short a stock, when it runs on you, you get your hand forced. It forces your hand. So this is why I don't like to short. Doesn't mean I won't short in the future. Doesn't mean I haven't shorted in the past. Maybe in the future I will. I think had I, identify this crash better like I knew like people were telling me it was coming but I didn't want to believe it based on what happened last year I thought we would have just continued this momentum now it's creating an amazing buying opportunity so I'm pretty excited about that so I'm just going to continue to accumulate that's all I've ever done and eventually they're going to explode because the revenues are growing and they're going to continue to and the shortages eventually Health Canada will figure it out and all the other countries will get on board and Aurora will be in like 50 countries and the revenue will be like a hundred million a quarter. And then it'll be like 200 million a quarter. And then it'll be like 300 million a quarter. It's going to skyrocket. So 
Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. I'm not a licensed advisor. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that I talk about here on Rich TV Live. I am only an average guy trying to do above average things, okay? And I want you to be a part of this. You want to be a part of the Rich TV Live revolution. You want to be a part of this media company. You want to be a part of the data company, the co-packaging company, the CBD company. Holler at your boy, richtvlive at gmail.com. I'll show you how you can be a part of this. This is not just about me, man. This is about you. Without you guys, none of this is possible. Smash that like button. Comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Because I'm going to be dropping videos. And you don't want to miss it. It's true. This is your boy, Rich. If you're not winning... You most likely not watch it. It's true. I'm out. Peace. Watch out. BBO. Zanavis. It's true. It's true.